Now, a notice was issued by the Supreme Court today, and they said they will decide, they will hear a case about whether a Colorado designer can tell same-sex couples to fuck off, that she's not going to create a website for their weddings. (laughs) Because they're, you know, gay, right? So this revives uh, the issue of where to draw the line between someone's bullshit religious beliefs. Uh, what, what, what religion? I mean, what is this? How are you worshiping a God, any God, whether it's a fucked up God or, or a pretend God or some God you made up yourself? How is denying people because of who they are the, the dignity and and respect of who they are, how does that play into a religious belief? No, seriously. I don't give a shit what it says about um, uh, Onan spilling a seed on the ground or whatever that bullshit is, or a man should not lay with a man. Oh, what the fuck does that? that that's ancient Hebrew law. It has nothing to do with Jesus. Probably a third of those 12 disciples were gay as could be. And maybe Jesus was. Who cares? Well, the fascist Christians care. And their whole belief is making other people hurt. Especially, or or, or try to control them. If it's women, control them. If it's other people like gay folk, make them hurt, dirty, rotten sinners. How fucking dare these people? And the church, the blessed church that endorsed and supported enslavement of people. Fuck religion. I mean, seriously. You show me a religion that is not just chock-a-block with hatred and lies and deception of filth and pain against other people. And the ability to cause other people to tremble and and live in fear from some imaginary shit. And I'll show you a religion that might have some interest for me. (laughs) Ah! So this uh, revives the issue of where to draw the line between someone's religious beliefs and the civil protections against discrimination for lesbian and gay and bisexual, transgendered people. Now, the issue before the Supreme Court, well, they, they, they haven't heard the case yet. They just said, yeah, we'll take it. Of course they will. But at issue is the same Colorado anti-discrimination law that came before the court about four years ago when the justices at that time ruled in favor of of an asshole named Jack Phillips who just decided he wasn't going to bake a wedding cake for a gay couple. No, fuck you. It's against my religious beliefs. I can say fuck you. I can show discrimination. I can be a real jackass. But I'm a Christian. I'm going to bake you a cake. Oh, Jesus God. So to speak. So... The uh, justices in that case, against uh, in favor of the baker who said fuck off to a gay couple, they had decided that the Colorado Civil Rights Commission showed bias against religious views when, when, when the commission ruled against the baker. Bias against religious views. How about bias against... <laughs> abject bigotry and stupidity and asininity. How about that? Man. But in that 2018 case, the Supreme Court did not resolve the uh, larger question of when businesses may invoke religious objections in their refusal to uh, publicly accommodate someone. You know, if, if you have a business, you're open to the public, the public accommodations law, you can't, you can't discriminate against people because of their race or their ethnicity. I mean, that's what the law says. I know it's a fucking joke, right? Well, you also can't discriminate against people 
which is what the Colorado Civil Rights Commission was trying to, uh, the point it was trying to make in this 2018 case, you can't discriminate against somebody because of, of who they are. Now, the fascist Christian devils that run around this country claiming that they worship Jesus of Nazareth, which they don't. But it's not up to them to decide who they are going to follow the law with where it concerns the Public Accommodations Act. Well, okay, laws of the books, I'll go ahead and serve you because you're white and you look normal, but I'm not going to serve you because you're black and you look gay. What? I know, I, I branded and raved about the racial discrimination and hatred and bigotry yesterday, but... You know, discrimination against gay folk is or transgender or, or lesbian or, or bisexual or whatever. It's just such bullshit. I mean, it's like, are the people who practice that kind of bigotry living such a twisted, narrow, sour little life? That they have to stick their nose in somebody else's groin and say, wait a minute, you got a thing down there. You can't be, you can't love other men. You got a thing. Or whatever bullshit they would come up with. Jesus. Now, this current Supreme Court is restricting the new case that they said they would take to whether applying Colorado's law, quote, to compel an artist to speak or stay silent violates the free speech clause of the First Amendment. End quote. The artist being the designer, the Colorado designer, who says, no, she's not going to create a website for their weddings. Fuck no. You're queer. The only thing to do is, uh. Well, if it's, if it's a public business that is open to the public, isn't it supposed to serve the public? I mean... Why does it have to take a ruling by the Supreme Court to affirm that? Or why can the Supreme Court deny that? I, I thought, and, and I don't know. Like I said, I'm not the brightest bulb in the marquee by any measure. But I thought we had a public accommodations law that said specifically, you can't discriminate against me. If you have a business open to the public, serve the goddamn public. I thought. So the current fascist Christian court will hear the case in the term that begins the first Monday in October. And according to her filings in the Supreme Court case, Lori Smith is an artist and website designer who plans to go into the wedding website business. And she wants to create only websites, she says, that, quote, promote her understanding of marriage as between one man and one woman. And she would like to post an online statement explaining she can only speak messages that are consistent with her religious convictions. End quote. One man, one woman. Well, lady, I, I, you know, I, I, I hate to upset you, but what the fuck are you talking about? Read your Bible. Read about David. Read about King David. Read about King Solomon. How many wives and concubines and, 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 and women and, and harem, harems? And, I, I, what the fuck? Where does that come from? Jesus never had a wife, nor did the 12 disciples that I'm aware of. Although Jesus probably did have a wife and probably has a whole line of descendants wandering around someplace in Syria or Lebanon or someplace, right? But your own Bible, Lori, your Bible excuses men who had multiple wives. And what about all the incest and the violence and the hatred and the, and, and the destruction of entire tribes of people ordered by your God? And you won't, bake a uh, you won't make a goddamn website for a same-sex couple? Oh, go fuck yourself. I mean, seriously. What, what a shitty, tiny little life you must lead, Lori. You really must. I'm only going to 
speak messages that are consistent with my religious beliefs. Fuck you. My religion tells me who I'm supposed to hate. I don't have to think about it. My religion tells me who to discriminate against. My religion tells me who's going to go to hell. I'm not. Uh, But you see, Colorado's Anti-Discrimination Act, the CADA, the CADA, it doesn't allow businesses to withhold their services from lesbian or gay or bisexual or transgendered customers. I, I, I mean, it, it just doesn't. The law is the law. But you see, to fascist Christians, there's no law. Civil law, fuck civil law. The only law comes from God. And according to these fascist Christians, God hates queers. And gay folk and transgender and... The lower court in Colorado ruled for the state of Colorado. And the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Tenth Circuit agreed that Colorado's Anti-Discrimination Act, CADA, was legit. And that if you have a public business, you're goddamn going to serve the public. If the public walks in, no matter how they walk in, no matter who it is that walks in, if you are a business in Colorado, open to the public, you are fucking open to the public, jerk off. And if you're not open to the public, then you will suffer whatever penalty these laws have in Colorado. Or you can run screaming and pissing your pants to the Supreme Court. Oh, this violates my religious beliefs. Mm. The judge on the uh, appeals court, Mary Beck Briscoe, wrote this, quote, Colorado has a compelling interest in protecting both the dignity interests of members of marginalized groups and their material interests in accessing the commercial marketplace, end quote, which just easily translates that the state of Colorado, in passing that law, wanted to protect people from the kind of horseshit that Miss Lori is demonstrating here. She runs pissing her jeans to the Supreme Court. Save me, save me. They're going to make me make a website for queers. Save me, save me. <laughs> and not just that, but the judge said that Colorado also has an interest in protecting the rights of people, no matter who they are, to have access to the commercial marketplace. Like I said, if you are a business open to the public, then be open to the fucking public, not just that part of it you perceive to be worth your services because of their religious beliefs or who they have sex with or who they might want to marry or what color their skin is, or what their language, their first language is. Bunch of hypocritical son of a bitches. Jesus. Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com, and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.